built here? Uh, we built essentially a game to train uh, boxers. So what we have here are some force fencing pads. Um, <clears throat> we had to build them ourselves uh, because of budget and honestly uh, time constraints. Um, so <clears throat> you can punch these pretty hard. I mean, you're supposed to use boxing gloves, but you know, they feel like you know, like something you can really punch. Um, uh -huh. So what happens is these uh, kind of copper-looking things. Uh, around the pads are actually LED ribbons. So the LEDs light up to tell you where yeah, to hit? They, they, they're going to light up and tell you where to hit. Um, yeah. And so you can program your own combination. There are some combinations that are built in already. Okay. Um, and when you're done, it'll give you a summary of your results. Okay. So uh, let's demo it. All right. So we're just going to get started with our uh, pre programmed combination. I believe it was 25 punches, give or take, kind of evenly distributed throughout the five pads. The timing is rather random, so it's not really simulating actual boxing training where you probably want to have a little more rhythm, probably a little more flow than this. Mm -hmm. That being said, this is, works very well for demo purposes because it works a little slower so you can kind of see everything mm -hmm. that's going on. So, you, so you're giving it the go there. Yeah, so yeah. you use putty as a menu to select it, or if you want to program your own, it's very easy to type it in with a computer. Okay. Each punch has its own arrival time and like a deadline. <laughs> so okay. essentially the light will turn on at its arrival time and it will, if you don't punch it by its deadline, it will time. Those are okay. all relative yeah, all right. timing. Good. This one purpose just to, so that way we have a couple of misses for our, yeah, we uh -huh. have some after sequencers. Sweat, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's a workout. Yeah. yeah, you get the heart rate up. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, you have 246. So 255 is actually saturated. 246 is surprisingly high. 246. Oh, so, so, yeah, so you so you saturated the sensor on that in hard hit. Rocky IV, the, the units are Soviet punching index. So you can list <laughs> numbers that represent the relative force and how hard you punch. Uh huh. And uh, 256 is the maximum Soviet punching. All right. Index. So you did. So you, you, <laughs> but you, I could tell you put some body into that. Yeah, one. yeah. that was the idea, kind of. We so the sensors are linear to some degree with the amount of force you put in, uh -huh. but it's also has to do with the you know kind of the impulse of your hit in the sense that I, if you do a really quick hit, it's definitely more as well if you just slowly push into something, which is realistic, right? That, that hurts more. Exactly. So that's that's something that we were actually talking about. Is this actually probably is very similar to how your body would sense pain due to the fact that. Is a mechanical system for detecting the force. So at the same time, if you have, say, a larger glove or a larger hand, you're also going to get a better connection and get a higher reading on this, which may or may not, which I believe would be very accurate with pain, given that if you have the same size or something, the same force, mm -hmm. roughly, it should work well. So uh, yeah, I can see that you're going to have some interesting safety discussion in your in your report here. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, most of it is there has to be a clear path between the user and the device at all times. Right, you want to make sure you're taped and that you don't break a wrist or anything, but, so, uh, okay, very, very cool, very cool.